Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing uh, kind of a NATO versus Russia setup, and we have uh, we're here today in a Turkish F-16. We're gonna switch up aircraft as we go. We have Canadian Hornets and you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, the other side, opposing side, is obviously all Russian aircraft, and he can bring whatever he chooses, and I'm gonna bring whatever I choose, and you know we're gonna fight whatever shows up. It's kind of like a like a bandit unknown thing. Um, I'm actually up at 530 knots, which is not good. I'm going to try to decrease that speed. Uh, it's a Fox 2 fight, like a modern dogfight would be. So the F-16 might struggle here against the Russian aircraft flankers, which uh, specialize in one circle, high off boresight Fox 2 fights. Uh, into the merge here, and that is a flanker. That's a Sukhoi 33 right there. And we are going to work hard to jam this Wes so he can't get a Fox 2 shot off. There's a Fox 2 shot there that misses. i got to reverse the turn. Okay, he's actually got a s kind of a good position on my six here, but I gotta try to get him out in front. He's taking gunshots that luckily missed. And that's not good, he's, he's using, yeah, there's a Fox 2 shot right there, that's tracky! The F-16, designed to do the, the two-circle fighting with a gunfight, you know, it, it, it would dominate anything that the Russians were to bring out against it, but that's just not the fight in the modern dogfight anymore with the one-circle high AOA, high off foresight uh, fighting. Not saying the F-16 can't do it anymore, it absolutely can, you know, there's counter two-circle stuff it can do. It's just a little bit harder and you got to adapt a little differently. Um, as you see here, we have the F-18, I'm looking for a victory this time. And the F-18, very good at one circle fighting, of course. It's got the high off foresight 9X and the helmet mounted sight, which is gonna make a big difference. Into the merge here, that's a MiG-29. And he's got flares out. Uh, let me see if we can get a tone here. Yeah, and his Fox 2 did not track. My HMD is not getting me a lock right now. There we go. 9X has tone, but we're too close. That's it, he didn't put his lip vector on me there, and therefore I took a six, and as long as I can stay here, good luck getting a Hornet to overshoot. This MiG-29 is gonna be dead here in a moment. Fox 2 misses, gun gets him. Splash 1 MiG-29. Almost too easy for the Hornet. The Hornet loves this kind of fight. Okay, F-22 Raptor. I tried to time this so that maybe we could get it when he brings out the felon, but I don't know, we'll find out once we get to the merge. Uh, obviously the F-22 excels in the modern dogfight. The only thing it doesn't have, which it might have, the modern variants today might have, is the HMD. Uh, this one does not. There was a uh, long talk about the F-22 getting the HMD, but then I don't know if they actually ever did it or not, but for the longest time the F-22s uh, existed without HMDs, and quite frankly, they don't really need it. Uh, they point the nose pretty well, 
And also, it's just the G-Force you're under. It's hard to point your head around in situations like that. Into the merge here, and that's a flanker. Sukhoi 27. They point the nose. 9X is away. And it's tracking. And splash one. <laughs> that's how easy it is. Oh, he's not dead yet. That looks like. still fighting. His engines are still working. His nose cone is gone, which tells me he has probably no functional radar. Uh, he might be just down to like guns only. And he's actually doing a decent fight here. <laughs> it's not bad. If he hadn't ate that first 9x. I might uh, switch it up after at the end and fly his one Russian aircraft. Uh, that 9x tracked and just narrowly missed him there though. Maybe at the end I'll fly as a uh, Super 27. I really like the Sukhoi 27. It's a beautiful, beautiful aircraft. When it has its nose cone, of course. <laughs> so he's actually doing uh, a really good job here. Fighting. Like, he's, he's doing quite well. I'm gonna have to kill him with guns here. Because I have no more Fox 2s. And this is it right here, yeah. Good day to you, sir. This is a really good fight from a flanker, considering he ate that 9x. He kept fighting. I respect that. And he lasted quite a while against an F-22. Splash one. There's not too many options left for him, and I think he's got the Felon this time. And I have the F-15, as you can see, uh, which is quite fitting because that's his fifth generation, and the F-15 is very similar to the Flanker series on the Russian side, so this is ac actually the exact same fight, but flipped. Uh, you can see how he absolutely crushed me in the one circle here, but I'm using differential thrust to try to get the F-15 to do some weird stuff for me here, but it's not really working because he just absolutely slotted on my six. shot there. I think he was expecting me to come out in front of his nose, but I didn't. Uh, but he's got my six really tight here. I'm going to try to nose counter him and see if I can get him to go out in front, maybe. And uh, nope. Left engine fire. <laughs> right. right engine fire. Maybe uh, both engines fire. Left engine fire. Okay, we're actually still right flying. Fire. Uh, although, right actually, fire. maybe not. Right engine fire. Yeah, the aircraft is not responsive and I'm right headed right into the fire. road here. Right. Uh, oh, I got shot by a Fox 2 and the aircraft did not hit the road. Okay, there you go. Wow, think about how terrifying that is as your aircraft goes down and like you're watching it go into a civilian area and like there's a road, there's cars on it. It's terrifying as you try to like, you know, make it not go there but the aircraft's unresponsive imagine that feeling in real life that's probably pretty scary but we got lucky there the aircraft uh, he shot it with a fox 2 which actually probably helped it not hit the road there so shout out to the felon i guess
Okay, let's do the, the last round. Like I said, I was going to fly one of the Russian aircraft. So we're in the Sukhoi 27 here. I have the flight control systems off. So I'm going to fly it with no flight control systems, which means the aircraft is going to give me better AOA. Uh, the flight controls are not going to, the computer is not going to try to, you know, slow me down and balance the aircraft and, you know, etc. It's ba The aircraft will do basically whatever I ask it to do. Uh, very important for these... Uh, AOA Fox 2 fights. It's also the thing that you would do if you wanted to pull a Cobra. You would turn off the FCS, flight controls, uh, flight computer. Uh, and this guy up here is going to be a Hornet. Into the merge there. That was a close one. Uh, the Hornet, very dangerous here. He's probably, there's a little bit too much separation here. I'm trying really hard to get close to him. Uh, I think he fired a Fox 2 that went right by there, if I am not mistaken. We're still alive. I don't think we got hit there. And look at this. Nice and tight with him here. Really pushing the flanker for all she's worth. Differential thrust here to roll the aircraft. And then counter with the other engine to stop the roll. We got a lock here, Fox 2, that's tracking... Splash 1. Got him. Wow, that was awesome. <laughs> that was great. Differential thrust in the flanker is a, is a game changer for sure. Splash 1, F-18. 